Hello, everybody. Good morning. How are you today? Today we are going to do a special one. We are going to do a special ritual ceremony, including to what we do normally, what we do every Sunday. So we are going to do uh, a little ritual, a little ceremony to release our karma and also to to cleanse ourselves, to be ready for fall, to be ready for winter. And we are going to be in touch with the Celtic goddess Seruwen. And, and this Celtic goddess Seruwen is represented like a, an old witch. But in nowadays, we can say that is sorry i have to check something here right and um, yes sorry it's technology right and i was talking about this goddess we are going to contact today and we are going to call her and probably she is already with us now because she represented an old witch but what i was saying is now we can represent it as a beautiful crown okay which is excuse me sorry can you mute the sound no. okay please uh for the the ones you are joining me in in zoom welcome but please mute the sound and the video because for the video i am going to share a powerpoint presentation and for the sound, uh, if, if there are uh, noises there, you are going to disturb other people, okay? Oh, God, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, please is mute the video and the sound, okay? Brooke? Right. Okay, I am there. I repeat, for the people you are in Zoom, please mute the sound and the video, okay? Thank you. Right, so we are going to start today as with our healing meditation to start getting in our space to release and to clean. Okay, it's getting slowly today. <laughs> it's about, um, all right, no, no, it's not working. It's about releasing karma, so things are a bit slowly today. Right, okay, I repeat the operation, share a screen sure okay getting there slowly <laughs> for the people who are with me in facebook today i invite you to to go to zoom okay right in zoom is where i am i have a powerpoint presentation and and probably the image is better okay right right and thank you very much to patricia and crystal because they give me this beautiful present this is the tarot card as a curtain with the sun thank you my darlings and please join me in zoom right so as i said today is about goddess Erwin, and we are going to cleanse and to release karma so we are going to start as always with a healing meditation and purification please sit, sit down comfortable back straight feet on the ground that you feel the floor you feel mother earth close your eyes and we are going to start breathing in and breathing out three times okay deeply 
And each time we are going to breathe in and breathe out, we are going to release all the tensions accumulated in the body, in the mind, and in the heart. Let's go. It's always to op it's good to open the mouth, okay, for me, okay? Right, one, two, three, let's go. <sighs> Our body is getting more relaxed. Second time. <sighs> we start feeling our presence. Remember, this is the time for yourself today. This time you are going to dedicate to release karma for you today and to love yourself and to make the space for beautiful things to come in the future. Last time. <sighs> Our mind is more settled. Our body is more relaxed. And now we are going to release a bit from our body. I feel still that we are a bit have tension. So please put your awareness in your mouth, in your teeth, jaw, your nose, your eyes, and your ears. Okay? And we are going to release from there all the blockages. For example, from the nose, we are going to release all the blockages in our respiratory channels. <laughs> from our ears, we are going to make the space to hear beautiful things. No, nya nya complaining, morning, no. From our eyes as well, we are going to improve our eyesight just releasing any blockages that sometimes we don't want to see. Sometimes we don't want, we don't want to see the past. We don't want to... Please mute the sound. Thank you. Okay. And um, Right, so we are going to release from all this area whatever is blocking us. Let's go. Very good. And again, whatever I said, do it on your own rhythm, okay? Very good. Now we are going to our brain, our neurons. And remember, we have billions of neurons working in our brain, okay? And they are working by electric signosis. So we are going to make them to work more fluently, okay? With more freedom. And we can improve our memory. We can improve our intelligence. Okay, let's go. Very good. Now, we are going to put our beautiful hands under our stomach. And now you can feel already that your hands are healing. You can feel the energy. They are warm. So now we are going to release from our internal organs. Any softness or depression from our lungs. Our, any fears from the stomach area. And any anger. Passive. Or active 
from our liver. And of course, from our sexual internal organs, we are going to release whatever is blocking our creativity. Let's go. And again. Do it again if you need to. You are the one who knows better what you need. Remember that. I am only guiding you. Now we are going to put our hands in our knees. And from our knees, we are going to release any fears to move forward for the future, to keep moving and not going back to the past. So let's go. And again. Okay, now we are going to put our hands in our heart. Keep your eyes closed and remember this is just for you. Feel your heart, feel your soul. Feel the spiritual being that you are. In this body, in this time and in this planet and in this space. But you are more than that. You are this spiritual being that needs to be free and to release any luggage from the past, even present, to move forward to the future with freedom and motivation and passion and trust. <sighs> Feel your, your soul like visualizing like it's a flame. And because now we are recognizing our present, this flame is getting bigger and bigger and you can put love because the energy is love sometimes it's very difficult to love ourselves it's easy to say oh i love myself but really so visualize the love as you feel it from a relative, a partner, a child, a mother, a friend, and put it here for you because you deserve it as well. And now you can see and you can visualize your flame getting bigger and bigger and expanding. And now you are just this bubble of beautiful energy that you can fly. And be there with yourself. Honor your heart. Honor your body, honor your mind. And this is you, my darling. <sighs> and 
now we are in a beautiful space in a beautiful energy to start learning first about serving second we will do a ritual and third a guided visualization probably maybe i will mix everything together it depends how the energy it is so remember that you need for this session today you need red thread and scissors uh, one of the main tools for Wicca, Pagan, Witchcraft is the knife and it's called Atomy. But I prefer the scissors. The scissors as well is very witchy. Okay? So first, as I said, let's go to learn about Seruwen. Who is Seruwen? It's a cultic goddess. comes from Wells, from the mythology book called the Mabinojun, if I pronounce it well. We can, we can say that Seruwen is a mother goddess, is a mother earth archetype. She works with earth magic and with element of earth. She rules the cycles of life and death. And she is very well known because she's the keeper of the cauldron. So today we are going to work with the cauldron because as well today, 13th of September, in nine, 10 days, we start the season of fall, the most beautiful season, well, according to me. <laughs> and, and we start the Celtic Sabbath of Mabon. And it's a celebration that is to finish the summer and to start the, you know, the cold weather. And it's the day that is a balance between, balance between the day and night, okay? And we are getting very close from the bigger Sabbath that is sunshine Halloween, that is, will be the 1st of November. And, and that day is, is the big, big, party for witches and pagans well and for everybody who wants to celebrate the cycles of life and death Seruwen is the goddess of change transformation and rebirth this is what i am doing today i am guiding you but it's you okay and she is the patroness of recycling energy and saving energy. So she's very useful nowadays, yeah? As I said before, at the beginning, Seruwen is represented as a crown, okay? As at the dark side of the moon. So this is why it's good to work with Seruwen to release karma. And to cleanse whatever we have in our skin from our ancestors or maybe past lives. So this is why she's called the goddess of the witches. And at the same time, she looks after the harvest in the autumn because what we are having now, according to vegetable fruit in the fall, it's good always to eat what is given you the land. So soon there will be the pumpkins, grapes. Her symbol is the cauldron, the cauldron. So the cauldron, what is it really symbolically? The cauldron is a uterus. It's the center of Mother Earth. A cauldron, it's a saucepan, yes, and it's where we cook. And when we cook as well, we are doing alchemy, we are transforming. So this is why it's very important when you cook, to do it with love, please. And, and a few weeks ago, I told you that it's the Mexicans, they always said to cook well, dance and sing, when you are cooking. Uh, also, it symbolizes the life force, the force of life, the power of restoring light, life. 
symbolically, as I said, in the South Pond, this is what we prepare. You know, you are ill, what is good to eat? Maybe a hot drink or a hot soup full of nutrients. And this will restore you. So this is how we are going to work as well today. And, and we can find the inspiration, the great, great insight. So we are working with powerful tools today. To work with Seruin, we have to take into account the element of Earth, the planets, Earth, Saturn, and the Moon. Saturn, why? Because Saturn is the planet when it comes about you, ruling your, cha your life change. Um, the animals, the herd, the hen, the otter, the hawk, the fish, the snail, essential oils, bergamot, cypress, eucalyptus, clove, and orange. Stones, agate, carnelian, eudualite, if I pronounce it well, and the food, any seeds, any nuts, apples. And also, as I said, the symbol is the cauldron and also the poetry. The poetry, why? Because um, the myth, the legend said that she gave birth to the poet, Taliesin. So she is the mother of the poetry and creativity. Taliesin, for the ones you don't know, is one of the names of Merlin. But you know, in mythology, sometimes everything is a bit mixed up. But just to resume it, Seruwen, because she is the goddess of transformation, she, she does shape shifting. And she can do the shape shifting in a herd, in an otter, in a hawk, in seat, even in a seat, in a black hen, in a white soul, and fish. So what she wants from us? She urges us to grow, to embrace change. She's the ruler of transformation. So this is why we have to embody the change, not to resist it. So how we can not resist the change, releasing all the fear, and how we can release all the fear, just trust. And I don't care if you Trust in angels, fairies, Seruwen, Virgin Mary, Jesus, I don't mind, okay? What we need is to have faith and to trust and to move forward in the future with trust, meaning that we are protected, but you have to feel it. And we need to be relaxed. We, this is why it's so important to have peace of mind. With a peace of mind, you are letting your mind working all the time. And how the mind works, like monkey mind. So it's not possible from the mind to feel ourselves. So this is why it's important always to start with the breathing and to recognize and honor your soul and then after embracing the change releasing all the fear is when we can move forward to the future with positive positivity optimism motivation passion she's also asking us to be humble okay this is very important for any change we need to be pure in our heart and to be humble. Not too much humble, okay? Too much humble sometimes is a bit arrogant. So it's a medium humble that we are saying, okay, I am here and I embrace whatever is good for me and for my highest good. And when they give you the opportunity, work. Okay, because if the universe is giving you signs and is giving you opportunities, you have to work. And sometimes in life, things come slowly, okay? Sometimes we cannot build a house in one day. 
I am very practical, I am very grounded through it. And so, so we need to be humble, to be ready, to be reborn, and be free. So working with Serowen today, we are going to release karma. We are going to connect with our ancestors to heal our DNA. Maybe past lives, who knows? And healing wounds from then. And to develop our creativity and feel, feel inspired and to move forward again to the future with faith and motivation. So we are going to start now, my talents, okay? And it's the first time I am doing Olympia cleansing online, I think, with herbs. Uh, we are going to do it. So I am going to get ready to the work. Okay, for the ones you don't have the red thread and the scissors, it's okay, I will do it symbolically. And I am going to work for, for all of you that you are watching now in this moment and for whoever is going to watch this in the future in YouTube. Okay, so we are going to start. <clears throat> First, we are going to use basil, basil leaves that smells so beautiful. And we are going to put them in the cauldron for cleansing, okay? This is just cleansing, the limpia. And then we are going to put lavender. And lavender, you know very well, it has many uses. And one of them is as well to cleanse, to relieve, to calm, to relax. So it's going to work today as cleansing as well and to give us enough peace of mind to do this work okay right okay it's here now my darlings now you are going to take the red thread and we are going to cut it, okay? That's a piece of it. It's, you remember this is a symbolic word, a spiritual, emotional, okay? So I would like you now that first put it in your left wrist, yes? And close your eyes and from here, you are going to release whatever was coming from your mother's side. So close your eyes. We have the energy of Serwen here in the cauldron. And we are going back to the past. Your mother, your grandmother, your great, your great grandmother whatever is coming this side, whatever is coming in an emotional level, right? And if any memories, painful memories or whatever you know already you want to release, put it in this red thread. You can also put the whole red thread in your wrist, like that, and put it there. Leave it there, just in the red thread. We are not cutting bones, okay? What we are doing is just releasing. right and when you are ready we put it in the cauldron here because i am doing for for whoever doesn't have a red thread or for the people in the future but for you leave it on the left side where you are in the left side 
okay? I will tell you what to do later. Right, now we do the same thing with the right. So we need another red thread and we involve our right hand and from here we are going to release from our father's lineage okay father grandfather great-grandfather and we are going to release from here more you know with the left we were working with emotions here we are going to work with the rational rationality mind logic and physical and again if any memories or events are coming put leave them in this red thread or if you know already what you want to release you know leave it in this red thread Put it as well inside your hand. Leave the energy go there. You don't need it anymore. And when you are ready, put it in the right side of your table or where you are. Me, I am going to put them here with these herbs that it was the basil and the lavender. Okay? And it's going, everyone is going to start working. The life of force is going to start working and the cauldron is going to start working, okay? This was just purification. And also I am going to visualize all the red threads for everybody as well, okay? And the next step, we continue with the cleansing, okay? Cleansing is a big process. Right. <laughs> uh, we are going to use eucalyptus oil. You can use mint oil. It's very useful for to cleanse energies. You know, there are many things how to cleanse energy, but if you put a little bit of eucalyptus oil or mint, peppermint, peppermint oil in, in the front of the house, it's always helping as well to, to protect yourself. Okay, but because we are doing this cleansing of karma today, in the cauldron, I am going to put seven, seven, seven drops of eucalyptus. Okay, right. Now, <clears throat> we have it here. Okay, so please take your left, uh, your left red thread and the right one as well. Now put it in the center or put in, visualize it that they are here, okay? And then we are going to call to everyone to stir, to stir this cauldron and to change and transform All these things we released, all this karma. In love. We are recycling. So Saruwen is stirring. We are releasing the pain, we are releasing the fears, we are releasing the blockages, we are releasing illnesses, we are releasing lackness, any lack, any lack of money, any lack of, of love. Okay, but all this experience, they make how we are today, okay? 
all this experience, bad, good, terrible, traumatic. We are humans, okay? So life is full of changes. So this is how we are recycling and we are going to, to transform this in love and in your beautiful, positive future, right? So we are going to start. <laughs> we are going to start with honey. Okay. This is a transformation. Now we are doing the the alchemy or recycling and transforming all these experiences in wisdom and love and optimism and also you are asking for money and work yes money and work we put it in the rosemary okay now we are doing the opposite okay we are transforming we are recycling right for whoever is going to start a new pro project a new business yes okay parsley we put parsley. Oh, <laughs> yes. And now, Laurel for victory. Laurel, but pars no. baile. I forgot now <laughs> the word for this. Laurel. Everybody understood me with Laurel. I am a bit in another dimension here, right? Okay, this is for success, this is for victory. Whatever is your future. Please visualize whatever you want to do for your future. Success, being a celebrity, whatever. Okay, and for love, any kind of love, romantic love, passionate love, family love, babies. What do you want? What do you want? Visualize yourself, think, think about it, and we put rose water. Very good. Very good. I'm checking. And now you want these things to happen soon, yes? Very soon. Okay, so we need to accelerate this process, but as well, remember, it has to be with your law of the evolution, okay? But we are going to try to accelerate it with energies. For when shall we start? Today is Sunday, okay? So this week, in these seven days, to start these positive things happening to you was to everybody okay right and now we call Seruan again to start it again and I have this spray for Seruan Okay, my darling, so it's done. And now we need to seal it. Please repeat your name now seven times. Say your name seven times, please. To seal this ritual, to seal this cleansing. And for any piece of your soul that is, is trapped somewhere or with somebody to come to you. Seven times, again, your name, please. Mm -hmm. Seruan, 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 Seruan. 
you have to remember you have to say your name okay i am doing the name of everyone because it's the energy today working with us Last time, and now I am going to with the sound. Okay. The last thing we are going to do is to cut another piece with red thread. But this time, it's just to be a remembering, a reminder of what we did today. Okay? So you can put it in your wrist glass uh, with a knot, you know, like that. Or you can put it in your purse, or you can put it under your pillow. But this is going to be a reminder what we did today. And in the moment this red thread disappears or is broken from your wrist, the work is completely done. And, and also, threads, you know, they don't grow like this. Yes, it's red, but it doesn't grow like a red thread. First, it grows like a white, maybe from a plant, yes, or from wool, and it's white. And then they die for us in red or in blue or whatever is color. So still we have here the red to move the energy but also inside is still white and white is the purity of the innocent. So put it in your wrist as a bracelet or whatever, or remember under your pillow or, or in your purse, whatever is easy for you. So we did this work, well done. And now we are going to connect with our ancestors to continue this process to release karma and to be ready for the future. But now we are going to talk to them. So again, please sit down comfortable, back straight, feet on the floor. It is possible to be grounded, to touch Mother Earth. We close our eyes and we are going to do the breathing three times again because now we are going to do a spiritual journey. Let's go. Okay, now on your left side, they are going to appear stairs, 10 steps. So you are going to go down just like you are. You are going to visualize yourself walking down 
this time starts. Let's go. Time nine. <sighs> we believe they number it out. Eight, seven. We are getting ready. Six, five. <sighs> Almost there. Four, three, two, one. And you appear in a corridor, in a beautiful cave, in a mountain. It's a cultic landscape. And in this cave, you are going to feel the presence of everyone, Mother Earth, as he's going to guide you to a door and you are going to open this door. And you are in a beautiful, Celtic landscape, everything is very green, lots of hills, trees, you can hear the singing of the birds, the buzzing of the bees, smelling the flowers and herbs. So you are going to enjoy the breathing. Maybe you want to sing, maybe you want to run. And it's going to appear an animal. It can be a hen, it can be a white saw, it can be an otter, it can be a hawk, a hare, a rabbit. And it's like, you know this animal for a long time, there is a family feeling. So it's one of your animal guys. It's, you, don't, you don't need to talk, it's just telepathy. So you know you have to follow this little animal, or maybe it's big. <laughs> and, and he or she is going to take you to a river, a beautiful river with lots of running water. The water is even a bit turquoise, there are falls. And this water you can drink is pure and it's cold as well, but it's very, very refreshing. So you go for a swim there. And this is the last part of the purification because whatever is still in your skin from old karma bad experiences, traumas, we are living them in that water. We need to move. And, uh, and now our little animal is guiding us to a beautiful forest. And in that forest, even the trees, they recognize you. And even the trees talk to you. It's getting dark. And you know this forest as well. You have been there many times. And in the center of the forest, there is an space, like a circle. And there is a big fire in, in the center, big, big one. So it's good to be warm, yes, because it's getting dark and cold. And you sit down 
around the fire and you realize that you are in a circle of people. In your left side, you find your mother line ancestors and in your right side, your father line. <clears throat> And one of them, <coughs> sorry, one of them or each of them, they are going to talk to you. And maybe they are going to, to talk about their experiences, about how hard it was last century or even centuries behind. You are going to understand many things in an unconscious level, unconsciously as well. They are all there to help you because we call them. And now you have the power. <clears throat> you have the power, you have the healing in your hands, you have the love in your heart to give to each of them what they were lacking or to heal them, to heal them from illnesses or to give them abundance, prosperity until you see smiling happy faces if there were a hunger give them food if they were lack of money give them money if there were illnesses heal them if there was no love give them the love they were lacking this is still the transformation this is still the alchemy we are doing today. So if we change any memories with healing and love with happy endings in this space, you are doing what you come. So I give you a few minutes to do that until you see your ancestors happy and smiling and to be ready to celebrate the abundance and the prosperity and the love and the healing in a few minutes. But this is your work. Remember, serving words, you have to be humble, you have to be, be pure, and give them anything, because if you are healing them, you are healing your ancestors, you are healing your present and the future. alchemy, the transformation, be better people who live in happiness and joy, in abundance and prosperity, and helping the others. Loving ourselves, that our heart sings every day and it flows with the energy of the universe and the love
Your ancestor faces now they are happy, they are smiling. And now it's time to celebrate around the fire, singing and dancing. And there is a big banquet there. And there is music. So sing and dance. With your ancestors to celebrate. Because when your ancestors come to dance with you, get up and dance. And unfortunately, it's time to go back. But say goodbye to your ancestors. By now, you can come back whenever you want. Okay? And to do more healing, it is necessary to put more energy in your ancestors' line, or maybe in your DNA, or maybe in past lives. So your little animal is guiding you again from the forest to the river, from the river to the hills, to the mountain, to the door that connects you to the cave of Serwen, Mother Earth. And you say thank you now to Serwen. She's still there with the cauldron in that cave watching you, helping you, transforming you. So you say thank you. And you have the steps there, the 10 steps to go up again and to come back to the place where your body is now. So we go there, one, two, three, Four, we are going to start feeling our body, our toes, our fingers. Six, five, four. You can touch your knees, your arms. Three, two. You are going to come back where you are, where your body is, feeling free feeling happy, trusting that you did the transformation today, that you connect with your ancestors and Serwen. And this week is going to start this transformation with the energies of Serwen and the universe. And all for good to move forward to the future in plenitude, in abundance. So to one, you can open your eyes now. You can move your body a little bit. Before I forget, with the two red threads we were using to release in, you just put them on the bin, in the rubbish, or even in the toilet, okay? And the one, of course, the one that we did at the end, this one, just keep it, as I said before, okay? Right. So this workshop or session or whatever it is, is I am going to, to put it in YouTube in maybe in a couple of hours. You can follow me in Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the scenes. And this is the bibli bibliography I have been using. And as I said before, um, uh, we started already the fall, the autumn. I started already Mabon, the Celtic Sabbath of Mabon. We're celebrating today, Serwen. 
the queen, the goddess of the witches. And next week, we will be keep celebrating the cultic Sabbath Ummabom. So see you next week in the same space here at 12 o'clock, always with me, with Sonia Sarkali. Have a beautiful week, my darlings. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.